Welcome back. Today, we will be concluding our series on division using the area model. Part one, we focused on dividing with a one-digit divisor, and part two, using a two-digit divisor and a three-digit dividend. Today, we will continue dividing with a four-digit dividend by a two-digit divisor. Here we have an outline of steps on how to divide using the area model. When dividing with a two-digit divisor, encourage your child to use friendlier round numbers. For example, if you have 18 as a divisor, make it a friendlier round number, which will make it easier for mental math computation. 18, instead think 20. And with step two, we'll be using some inverse operation, that's multiplication. And although we're dividing, we'll see how multiplication is essential in understanding how to divide. Step three, we'll be setting up our area model for subtracting. Step five, we'll continue to repeat those steps as necessary. And finally, we will add up our partial quotients to find the answer. This time, we will divide a four-digit number by a two-digit divisor. 6,492 divided by 22. Step one, we want to think in terms of a friendlier round number. So we're going to take that 22 and we're going to round it to 20. And think to ourselves, what number times 20 gets me close to 6,492? For easier mental math calculation, Instead of looking at the entire 6,492, simply isolate or think in terms of 64 and think what number times 20 can get me close to 64. Since I know that 20 times 3 equals 60, I can try 22 times 3 and see if that will bring me close to 64. After trying 22 times 3, I recognize that I go over 64. So therefore, I cannot multiply by 3. Instead, I will go down 1 and multiply 22 times 2, which gives me 44. This is a great opportunity to remind your child that although 66 is closer to 64 than 44 is, the fact that 66 is greater than 64, we have surpassed our dividend, then we cannot use it. So we must drop down. So we'll go with 44. 22 times 2 equaling 44 is a great starting point. However, our dividend is 6,492. Recall we just isolated the 64 so that we can do a little mental math and helping us get close to it. So this is a great starting point, but more work is involved. Recognizing that we need a larger multiple of 44 that will bring us closer to 6,492, we can start multiplying 22 times 20. That brings us 440. And then 22 times 200, giving us 4,400, which is closer to 6,492. Now, let's just say we went over to 22 times 2,000. Well, following this pattern, we can see that we'll end up with a product of 44,000, which is well above our 6,492. So we'll stick with 22 times 200. Now, let's set up our area model. Now that I have set up my area model, I am now ready to multiply. 22 times 200, giving us 4,400. Moving right along to step four, we're ready to subtract 6,492 minus 4,400. Leaving a difference of 2,092, which is much larger than our divisor, we must continue to divide. After extending the area model, we can now divide 2,092 by 22. Again, we should think to ourselves, what number times 22 can get me close to 2,092. Now, based on the work we did before, typically I would keep that off to the side, we have an idea. We already know that 22 times 200 gave us 4,400, which is much larger than the dividend that we need. So then we can try 22 times 100, that giving us 2,200. Our divisor is 2,092, so therefore that's too large. So we will then multiply 22 times 90. The great thing about this strategy is that we're encouraging the use of mental math. So a lot of this computation can be done mentally, and there's strategies that can be taught to learn that. So let's try 22 times 90 to see how close we get to 2,092. Having a product of 1,980, which is less than our dividend, we can go ahead and use 22 times 90. Now that we've set that up into our area model, we're ready to move right along to subtraction, giving us a difference of 112. Being that 112 is larger than our divisor, we must continue to divide by extending our area model. 
Once again, we'll ask ourselves what number times 22 will get us close to 112. With a little mental math computation, students should be able to recognize that 22 times 4 equals 88 and try to get even closer to the dividend of 112 by multiplying 22 times 5 giving us 110, which is very close to our dividend of 112, so we'll go ahead and set that up. Now I can continue with subtraction, 110 from 112, leaving me with a difference of 2. 2 being smaller than my divisor, I know I am done dividing, so 2 will serve as my remainder. Last step, add up the partial quotients. 200 plus 90 and 5 equals 295 and a remainder of 2. Therefore, I know that 6,492 divided by 22 is 295 with a remainder of 2. At this point, I'm sure you're probably thinking, how can I remember this all? But you're not alone. I've included this reference sheet as a guide. With a little bit of practice, your child will be successful at using the area model to divide. As always, thanks for watching. And to continue to support my channel, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, take care.